Hi, my name is John Hathorne, and I'm here with Keith. I'm your pastor. Keith's the uh, chairman of our elders, and we have some exciting news for you. We're practicing a little social distancing here so that we can uh, just be true to some of our desires here as a church. But uh, Keith and I are going to share some uh, great news about uh, the elders and last night uh, meeting that we had, and we hope you enjoy the things that we have to say here today. Good afternoon, everyone. We are very excited to let you know that last night, your session and your staff met to discuss the possibilities of reopening here at Lincoln Presbyterian Church. This past week, we got the permission from state and county local officials who gave guidelines for churches to reopen under certain situations. And we are excited that session and staff made the decision to reopen Lincoln Presbyterian Church on Sunday, June 7th. We will have two services that day, one at 9 a.m. and one at 1045. We will meet, one service will meet in the sanctuary, one service will meet in the activity center. Now our church services that day will look slightly different. So on June 7th, it'll look different than when we met together on February 7th, but we are gonna come back together and we are going to have safety and state guidelines adherence. And we'll talk more about that in just a second. There's four very important things we want you to know about uh, us returning on the 7th, and that's exciting news. The first one is this, we wanna be safe. Uh, the second thought is we wanna be simple, and we wanna be special, and we wanna be sacred. And Keith's gonna talk about some of the safety issues uh, because we know that that is very important to you as we have uh, read your surveys and listened to them and had many phone calls and emails. So here's Keith on safety. As John just mentioned, one of our uh, concerns that we want to make sure for you when you return on June 7th is safety. So the first thing we want to do is that we knew from the survey that you completed, and we want to thank you for completing those surveys, that is some of you have said, you will be here as soon as the doors are open, and we're excited for that. We also know that many of you have said that you're a little cautious and that you'd like to make sure that we have certain safety precautions in place or you're in a high-risk health issues because your immune system may have been compromised. And we just want to tell you, if you're in that category, it's okay to stay home. Please, we want to give you permission that, that it's okay to come stay home that day. We are going to have the service on June 7th, both live uh, here in the sanctuary, as well as online, just like we've been doing the last eight weeks. So you can feel safe and secure by watching the service at home on June 7th, if you're so inclined. We also want to let you know we're going to try to adhere to as many of the state guidelines as possible. We're still unpacking those, and so you'll have more details from us next week before June 7th. But also what you can expect is this. You can expect that you're going to see hand sanitizers when you walk onto campus. We're going to strongly encourage the use of PPE such as masks and or gloves. We're also going to uh, talk about we're going to do extra cleaning here on campus. We are also on that day not going to have any children, youth, or adult Sunday school or small groups that day. This is strictly going to be a worship service uh, gathering only on June 7th. And we're also going to encourage social distancing, distancing as much as possible. One way we're going to do that is we're going to ask you that when the service is up before and after the service, we're going to ask that you socialize outside, either in the courtyard, in front of the church, by the office, in the parking lot, but we do not want uh, socializing, uh, socializing here in the sanctuary. So we know you understand that we want to be safe, and this is a great way to help ensure that we have success going forward in the weeks preceding. Thank you for that little update on safety. That's such an important part of what we're doing. When we refer to the idea of being simple, I think these first couple of weeks on the uh, 7th and the 14th, I think you can expect a little abbreviated service. Um, all of our announcements are going to be verbal. They're going to just be uh, emailed to you. They're going to be they're going to be online. There's not going to be a lot of touching things that are going on at all. Uh, 
past the peace is just going to be uh, uh, really waving at people. Uh, greeting people is going to be a wave of people as saying hello. Uh, there's going to be offering boxes for your offerings. There's going to be uh, the opportunity for you to simply enjoy refreshments at a later date when we're much more prepared for concentrated um, uh, participation of fellowship. And we just want to help people adjust to this new normal that we are excited is even taking place, okay? When we refer to the idea of being special as a church, this very first Sunday, we're going to be taking communion. Yes, it's going to be a little bit different than usual. There's going to be individual servings, but we are going to be unified as we partake in communion all at once at the same time and we enjoy the specialness of that moment in time. We also want to take a chance on this first Sunday to honor our seniors. And uh, what a great accomplishment for them and their families if they have worked hard at school for uh, these elementary, junior high, and high school years. We want to celebrate and honor them. Lastly, we want you to know this. It's going to be a sacred time together. The Word of God is going to be presented. We're going to be praying together. Uh, this very first Sunday, we're going to be saying the Lord's Prayer together. We're going to be saying the Apostles' Creed together because we simply want to honor the Lord in the most sacred fashion possible. We are coming before God Almighty, and we look forward to worshiping Him together. I want to thank our leadership of our church, that are elders, and uh, and for all their input and discussion about these issues. We want to thank the church for your uh, surveys and information. We want to thank the deacons for all the great communication that they've made and caring about people. Uh, this has not been a really, really easy time in the life of uh, our society and the life of church as a whole. We um, want you to look forward to next week. There'll be some specifics that'll come out both in an email as well as a, um, another video just about specifics of what to expect. And that, that will be very helpful for you. Keith's going to wrap things up for us now. In closing, for my part, I just want to say thank you all for being patient during this very challenging and unique time that we face over the last several months. Uh, we want to thank you for the, your participating in the surveys. We are excited to see you here on June 7th uh, at our services. And if you have any questions or concerns going forward between now and June 7th, either myself or a member of the session would be more than happy to talk to you. Thank you and God bless.